what's up tubers welcome back to the channel got another what's in the box video for you today we're working with the Revell 125th scale easy click Ford Raptor uh, never disparage the easy clicks uh, I'll put a picture up here of one that I did that uh, I thought it came out pretty cool uh, the easy click is just Ravel's way of saying snap tight, snap kit, snap fast, whatever, however you want to say it. Um, I've already been in this one and looked at it. It's uh, pretty limited parts count, but that doesn't mean anything. Again, never disparage the snap tights. So, without further ado, Ing, we're going to get inside and uh, take a look at what it has, what the box contents are. And then we'll go over my design ideas. I think you'll approve, as in normal style we do here. Uh, first off, we'll look at the decal sheet, which is really nice. Again, really, really, really impressed with Ravel's uh, decals. They look really good. Really crisp, sharp, colorful. Um, you know, you got a nice uh, instrument cluster, and, tail lights it, it just looks really good and then in the snap kit uh, you know they're kind of aimed at the younger market there's stickers it has stickers so it's really easy to put this thing together um, you know with your detailed instruction manual that you're not even going to bother looking at and uh, like I said I've already been in this one um, I kind of wanted to see how what, what was possible with it. So we're just gonna tear everything and dump it out of its bags, talk about it real quick, and then talk about, again, my design ideas. So, first off, let's look at this body. Wow, is that not a good looking truck? I mean, these Raptors are pretty sick. Um, you can see it's already, it's it's got a sparkly blue finish. And, uh, you know, I mean, you could theoretically just put the scene together as is out of the box. We're not going to do that here, but you could. You know, a younger uh, younger person that's, you, that maybe wants to get into modeling, this is a great entry point. But we're going to go further. So the interior tub looks really nice. It's got really crisp details, really prominent textures. Looks really good. I mean, it looks really good. So with some paint and some uh, attention to detail, it's gonna come out nice. The underside has absolutely no details whatsoever. So it's a complete uh, static shelf uh, model. You know, you'll put it on the shelf and look at it, which it, most of the time, that's all you do anyways. Uh, it's got some nice running boards on the bottom, of the, the door entries. So, I mean, it, it goes together pretty well. You can see there's limited parts. There you go, assembly's done. Uh, it's got a single piece glass in it. Nice and easy, simple install. It's already been painted for the, uh, the, the tint. I don't know what you call that. Uh, headlight backs have been painted in a silver, so that's kind of nice, it'll pop. And then the rear, the taillight, um, bumper logo thing. Uh, front grill insert, dashboard. What, what am I doing? Why am I not showing you these? I'm an idiot. Don't do what I do. I'm an idiot. <laughs> I mean, there's really not much to see. It's, you know, it's a dashboard but it does have some really, really nice details in there. So that will all come out really well with some attention to it. Uh, the tires and wheels that it comes with, a nice soft rubber, hollow, good tread pattern, good uh, aggressive tread style with a, I don't know what you call that. I mean, it's kind of a, I, I don't know what you call it. It's a good looking wheel, but that's where it changes. What are we doing? <laughs> yes. Yes. These were left over from the Dragnum build that I just did. Uh, put a picture of that here. 
uh, this is just, I mean, it was just screaming for me to do this. I saw how easy it was going to be to put them together like this. And where did I go? Where did I go? Of course, yellow. Yellow. Come on. Oh, it's right here. <laughs> Look out, snake. There's a snake in my boot. And then once those go in, that uh, raises it up to ride height. See, it blocks the axle from going up or down. And then the body goes on. <laughs> yeah. So. That about does it for the Revell Easy Click Ford Raptor. Uh, I'm going to be doing a build of this right, right as soon as I finish this and edit it and post it. I'm going to start it on the build. I've already got the color chosen. It needs a uh, chrome base. So we're going basic. We're going to use the rattle cans, put some primer on some shiny base and then this amazing red uh, duple color metal it's that's gonna look pretty sick I, mean, I do have a blue I could go with the blue but uh, I think the red will be nice especially with those wheels it's gonna be pretty sick so again thanks for watching uh, stay tuned the build video should be coming up soon I'm gonna do a, a time lapse of this one just because it's so basic should go pretty quick um, we'll, you know we'll see so yeah thanks for watching stay tuned and we'll see you in the next one